The days of using borrowed money to build wealth may be over. Risk made people rich in the 90s. Smart is the new rich. That means it's never been more urgent to teach your kids the right lessons about money. So we spent some time with our friend Bill Rogers, a well-known economist, and his wife, also an economist, and their kids to see how one Money Smart family runs. Economists. Meet the Rogers, Bill and Yana, Ellie, Billy, and Charlie. How do you guys teach your kids about money when money in the economy is what you do for a living? For a long time now, we've been using sort of a trick, and that's the children's literature. Bill, a former Labor Department economist. Yana is a Rutgers professor who runs econkids.rutgers.edu, a project that uses kids' books to teach economics. Give me an example of a book that I might have in my, in, in my bookshelf that actually has a subversive economic message in it. <laughs> oh, uh, Berenstein Bears. Everybody has Berenstein Bears. There's Curious George. There's a few of those where he goes to a factory. Well, that's all about production. And then there's uh, Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. That's one that Bill likes a lot, too. The cows, in case you forgot, go on strike. Sorry, we're closed. <laughs> yes, no we'll to <laughs> and there, this is the labor economist's labor that's book. That's right, right that's here. right. Well, this the Rogers allowance system is a little more elaborate than most. Three dollars a week. Every we get paid every Wednesday, and depending on chores I do, I get paid eight dollars an hour. And for messier jobs, it's ten dollars an hour. Economist Mom explains that's the economic principle of compensating differential. What is it like to be raised by two economists? They know everything about money and policy. <laughs> it can be a little frustrating sometimes when I'll want something as for Christmas, and but it will be a little too expensive, and then I'll usually have to go for like the maybe the bargain brand or just to <laughs> go on sale. I've become a very good sales shopper. Right. It's a family created by economics. Bill and Yana met in the econ department at Harvard, and a family run by economics, like all families. The one big thing that I that we I talk about with with I think our kids is the budget constraint. Right. You know that that is the notion of there's only a fixed amount of money, and you have to figure out how you're going to allocate that money across you know, a, a more expensive baseball bat versus your, your cleats that you're going to buy. <laughs> Here, give him a bigger ball. <laughs> so some quick advice to raise money smart kids. First, make them take out the trash. That's right, taking out the trash, according to a recent survey from Schwab, found the children grow up to be better with money. Also, if you're going to give them an allowance, make them earn it. Don't just give them an allowance for being your kid. They've got to have rules and chores and follow them. Teach them very early to save money, even a little bit from their birthday or from holidays. Save toward those bigger, trendy, and expensive items. You should not be buying everything for your child. You should make them contribute so they understand the value of a dollar. For CNN Money, I'm Christine Romans.